I we looked at uh, registering and logging in, and we got to this screen here, and and basically you've got four things on your um, profile page. Uh, these aren't viewable by anyone other than you at the moment. Um, if I do, uh, it's going to be an opt-in, so you know you could choose to share this with maybe your coach, so they could have a look at how how you're doing. Um, at the moment, uh, what I'd like to just show you is uh, is this climbing profile, and and what we're trying to do is just get uh, some demographic data for you. So you know, I could be just enter some of these. No, probably. Uh, Um, you can um, all we're trying to do is just um, get get some more information off you. Um, so one of the things, if we do do some um, sort of research based stuff on this, we're going to look at maybe um, you know. Does monthly participation reflect um, your grade um, and, and other things like that? You know, um, are the things that you'll see in the performance profile, are they linked to whether you're a trad climber, sport climber and, and stuff like that? So it'd be really nice if you can fill that in. If um, you eventually come in here and nothing displays on your page other than test uh, the climbing profile bit here and it says, you know, click to do it it's because i've changed the um the program that means that you will have to do this to actually use any of the other features uh, at the moment it's it's something that i've not done yet um so the most important thing i think from this site is this performance profile and um, i'm just going to explain how they work so basically uh, performance profiling was developed by sports scientists um and basically a lot of Olympians and very elite athletes use this to constantly decide what they're going to focus their training on for the next month. And and so that's what I've done with um, with iCoach. So um, the the there is a list of instructions here, but I thought I might as well talk you through it. So the first thing is, is you need to look at these different attributes and they, they roughly fall under um, physical attributes attitudinal, psychological and tactical attributes. If you think that there's there's an attribute missing from this, please email me and I can add more in for the next time that you do it. But you know, you might think, you know, I need balance, coordination, finger strength, core strength, power endurance, um, technique, I need to be a bit more aggressive, I need more discipline in my training, um, I need to concentrate more, a bit more confidence, I need to find a better goal setting, um, I need to cope with pressure, you know, I'm good at climbing arets and corners and slabs, I might, you know, crack climbing might need something, um, jumping for holds is something mainly for indoor climbers, you know, on site and skills, reading routes and you know you try and select up to 20 I've selected just under 20 it doesn't really matter um, but the closer you get to 20 the kind of the more robust this is and then when you sub this submit this you get to um, another page and, and, and it, it lists the, the the attribute the category and it gives you a sh short description of, of what it might mean and you have these two scores. You might have your ideal climber. Now, most people will go straight to 10. You know, sometimes your ideal climber might not have 10. It might have, you know, there might be an 8, you know. So, just to make this a little bit easier, I'm just going to go through. So, let's say I get 8, 7, 8. But what you want to do is to score these, so, you know, 
technical technique you know I want a 10 and actually I, I think maybe out of compared to my ideal climber this isn't the best climber in the world is you know where you'd ideally like to be in say six months or eight months um, and you just go down and you score each one and you know this might take 10 minutes for you to consider this and and this really is the important part of of this performance profiling process and you hopefully see why in a minute You know, I've just rushed through that just to kind of show you what to do, but you do need to score both of them before you move on. Uh, submit this, and then you get to um, this uh, result page, and, and what this result page does is it just lists them all, and, and it's, it's good, but it, again, it's not that much hope. So what you get is you get an ideal actual in the difference, and it says difference score that is important to the the kind of the program that runs so now when I go back to my profile page what the program has done is, is it's found the biggest difference so you know it's found your weakest parts of climbing and giving you the five most important things and what you want to do is focus on these five things for the next month And uh, just to help you out, there's um, this library thing, and there's a library function up here, um, has got a, a reading section. So, you know, on that top one, which was reading routes, there's one article which was by Hazel Finley, I think that's on UK Climbing. And actually, if you click on this link, it takes you to Hazel's article. And then you can come back and you know placing gear. You know, there's a few more book things there. So there's a uh, crack school, which is a, a video by Wild Country, um, and, and that the videos are embedded in this site. Improve your climbing by James McAfee and the Hazel Finley article, and a link to um, this book, How to Climb Harder by Mark Reeves, and um, you know a, a lot of the attributes on this. On this performance profile, you'll find them in here, and I, you know, I am trying to promote this because at the end of the day, I've got to try and make money. Anyway, what I'm going to do next time is I'm going to talk to you about this library feature and and how you can get the most out of it.